Hey, this is Daniel Thunger, and here we've got some bison. The American buffalo returning to the Old Faithful site in Yosemite National Park. And back here behind them, let me just zoom in. We see, let's see, one, two, three. We've got four Bigfoots on screen at the same time hunting them. It's a world record. So thank you guys for watching and uh, just kidding, stick around and we will take a closer look. <laughs> okay, so first things first, this video was posted by YouTuber Mary Greeley. Mary's got about 2 million views, over 15,000 subscribers, and I believe about 600 videos, but none of them have anything to do with hoaxes or Bigfoot or paranormal. They're all very serious very sober in nature, as is this video. Which brings us to this brave soul right here, out here wearing all black, which is kind of odd, with wild buffalo. Now, of course, he's not really standing right there. He's back here, just behind these trees, and I just simply took a copy of him, put him up here for scale, and we can see that, remember, bison are measured at their shoulders, uh, five, uh, five to 6.6 .6 feet at their shoulders, I believe, which means the hump is even taller. So just suffice it to say, that's one really big guy. And something completely bizarre about him is he has non-human body ratios. And you can easily tell that by looking at his arm, which is almost as long as his leg. Whereas your arms are 20% shorter than your legs, just like mine, just like every other human on the planet, male or female, we all have pretty much, plus or minus small degrees, the same body ratios. So that makes this guy one of, if not the rarest human on the planet. And again, keep in mind, he's really much bigger than this because he came from way back over there. Let's see, I, I can only guess, but that's maybe back to the river, across the bridge and back this way. 50, 75 yards, who knows? Maybe somebody familiar with this area could, could verify that for us. But the further away you are, the smaller you appear. So this guy is taller. How much? We can only guess. But what if he were, say, that much taller? You know, that's, it's at least possible. And that would make him not only extremely rare, but incredibly big. And there's something else about him. Um, well, for one, he's either incredibly brave, incredibly hungry, or incredibly stupid, because these bison could get back to him in, I'm guessing, about four to six seconds. And at that point, he would truly be in a world of hurt. Okay, now I'm going to just scrub through and try to find where we first where we get our first glimpse at our two-legged friends up there. And I'm seeing something right there. And, you know, I, I can't tell if that's vapor tricking my eye or what, so, so we'll just keep moving. And Buffalo 3 there has got to stop and do his little uh, buffalo business. But when you got to go, you got to go, you know. And right there. I do see something. So keep your eyes peeled for right up here and we'll see all four single file. And I'm just scrubbing back and forth. See them sneaking through up there, coming up downwind. Sneaky little trick. Okay, I've zoomed out so we can see the big picture here and we're gonna see something pretty amazing. Now, for one, we see a little camera pan. I don't know if you've ever gone out and played with these webcams like this. But oftentimes you'll find where you can pan them left and right a little bit or switch to different camera views. But what's important here, watch, watch Buffalo 4. He's right here by this little, he or she's right here by this little tree. And then, then we see the camera move right there and the buffalo are in the same position. So there hasn't been a shift in time, only a little camera pan. And that is important because watch our four two-legged friends way back here. They're gonna travel a hundred yards or better within seconds. So here we go. I'm gonna just start scrubbing, 
slowly forward. And now the buffalo are pretty much moving the entire time. It's not like there's a lot for them to stop and graze on. And boom, already the four made it to right here. And I'll scrub back and forth. See where they are now? Now think about that. Could you and your friends put on some monkey suits and risk freezing cold temperatures and scalding hot water from geysers and being trampled to death by wild buffalo, buffalo could you run, could you sprint that entire distance in a matter of seconds? I would like to see that because they did this, whoever these four are, they did it without ever once alerting the buffalo. We never see the buffalo stop and, and look back in that direction. They just keep moving through and these guys are in full out stealth mode. Okay, so here I've zoomed in and we can see the four walking. We can see them through the trees and through the steam. Now, if you believe this is CGI, then I'm not trying to be mean, but boy, you do not have the slightest inkling of what CGI is or how it works. Uh, CGI at, at that point is just some sort of magic to you and you use it to explain away everything. But I can tell you that there is no way. I mean, you would have to take a live shot and then cut out these trees and the steam and, and mask out every little bit of, uh, in between the pine needles and all that. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of, of man hours just to superimpose in these animated characters or whatever you think they are. And, and I'm telling you, no, it, it is not CGI. And if you believe it is, then prove it. Show us, show us some examples. Anyway, moving on, I've got something really amazing I wanna show you. So here's the first guy walking through and the second, and I say, guy, I don't know what they are. And now look at the fourth. It is what? Heads taller than the other three and the first guy we saw when I uh, had him beside the buffalo, he was seven foot or better. So if this guy is now heads taller than somebody who's seven foot tall, that means that we have one of the world's tallest human beings out here on this hoax, if, if you need to believe it's a hoax. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this just run through real time let it loop a time or two. And there's Pee Wee, the first guy we saw, the seven footer. And he's walking on out by himself while the others stay in hiding. And watching through this this time, we see his left, left foot or left legs hurting a bit. He's hobbled a bit there. But don't you wish you could run superhuman speeds with a hurt foot or leg? Or hey, Maybe while running, say, 20 or 30 miles an hour through the forest and snow, maybe he pulled a hamstring or something. Who knows? Uh, and then the whole shot ends when the, uh, the camera pans off to the guys are going off. Because, folks, this, this is Old Faithful, uh, the Old Faithful webcam. So the guys are going off is the money shot. You know, not everybody in the world is focused on Bigfoot like we are. Okay, so Occam's Razor time, which is simpler to believe, that three MBA-sized guys got together with the tallest man in the world, they found some monkey suits, and went sprinting through snow and ice, risking again, scalding hot geysers, and being uh, trampled to death by buffalo, just to pull off a little hoax here, also risking uh, prosecution by a national park who might not think tampering, teasing with a rare buffalo herd was very funny, or are we glimpsing some ancient scene that's been going on for thousands and thousands of years? You decide, but you know, isn't it funny that with all of these hoaxes that people believe in, that we never, ever, ever see the guys who pulled off the hoax come forward years later? 
and brag and tell how they did it and show behind the scenes footage or anything like that ever. We never see the monkey suits, nothing. Anyway, you weigh in and let me know what you think. And please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos if you like and comment. And if you like what I do and you want me to keep doing it, you can say buy me a cup of coffee and to get there you click on my name and then on my channel page you'll see support this channel and click on the blue tab right there and for for those of you guys who have been um tipping and supporting thank you so very much all right guys take care